He's one we all we all know his running back skills. What you might not know is today uh, we're going to announce that he and Jack Endries are going to be the hosts of the Summer Reading Challenge that was started by Patrick Laird in 18. So take your questions on that. It's going to be announced momentarily. Uh, you guys probably remember it from uh, when Patrick did it, and Jaden's here to tell you a little bit about it. So, um, And he'll take a couple of football questions too, I think. But we'll start with that. Go ahead, questions. Jaden, you're taking up the mantle of uh, some guys that have done a really nice job with the Reading Challenge. Can you talk a little bit about why you wanted to get involved and what it's been like so far for you? Man, I wanted to get involved because I used to do reading challenges and reading logs when I was younger. My mom had forced me to do it. Um, I didn't really want to do it, but it actually turned out being very beneficial, um, helping me in school, helping me communicate with uh, my classmates more efficiently, and then as well as on the football field. How rewarding has it been to kind of uh, get things started with, with the kids and, and doing this reading challenge? Uh, it was dope. We had our last one this past Friday. Um, we went to Rosa Parks Elementary, and it was good talking to all the kids. Um, they had some funny questions for me and Jack, um, but it, was, it feels good to, you know, get back into the community and reach out and, and help these kids understand that they could be in our shoes one day as well. What was their funniest question? Uh, okay, so this little girl, she had um, told me that her sister, her baby sister, wrote a book. It was like three pages with one word on each, <laughs> and she goes, <laughs> Hey, the book I made is like, or my little sister made is like this big. Can I read that and put it on the reading log? And I was like, yeah, that's a pretty big book, but sure, no, nah, you can't put that on the reading log. It's not going to cut it. What was, so, what was so special to you, Jaden, about that? You know, your first one on Friday and just kind of maybe a look you saw in the kids' eyes or maybe one of the more special moments you might have had Friday right here. Kind of had the soft launch of it. Yeah, my favorite moment was uh, when one of the kids told me, that uh, my dad went to Stanford, and I said, "Oh, that sucks." <laughs> but nah, it was, it was cool to um, to reach out to them. You know, a lot of the kids knew that we were coming, and so they wore some cow gear. So um, they had a lot of good questions um, outside of the just the reading challenge. So they're young kids, but were they familiar with who you were, who you guys were? Um, I, th I think a couple of them were. Um, a lot of them were you know, are on the video games now. Yeah. So they were asking questions about Fortnite and if we play <laughs> Call of Duty and all that stuff, but. Are you any good? Oh, nah, <laughs> nope. I'm not even good at Madden. <laughs> Jim, what do you know about Patrick Laird and, and him starting anything you wanted to, you know, that's a pretty big deal. He started it from scratch in 2018. Yeah, no, nah, it's an honor to carry it on. I mean, last year we had Driscoll. Um, this year is me and Jack and you know, me and Pat are really close. We talk pretty often. He was here at the Stanford game last season and a couple other ones. And so to be able to uh, carry the torch on for the reading challenge is good. And I know my mom is proud as well because, you know, like I said, she used to sign me up for reading challenges at local libraries when I was younger. And even though I hated it, um, it paid off. Did you learn to like to read? Yeah, yeah. Um, I started reading. Um, Harry Potter when I was in middle school and I wound up reading all of it and you know those books are pretty thick so For sure. I wound up liking to read. And you, you had a couple younger sisters too or any of, them, any of them of the age to be able to take part in it? Oh yeah, um, yeah they're, they're all old enough actually um, and they're all involved in reading challenges as well but uh, yeah they, they definitely participate. Anything else for James? How are you different? from the beginning of spring to now as a football player? As a football player, I think I'm different. Um, just growing as a, as, a, as a vet, I think, you know, um, being intentional with my practice days, every day I come out, I write a goal down of what I want to accomplish. Um, so today, I didn't get to work on it, but today's goal was to work on our jump technique. Um, which is one of our blocking technique, techniques, but I didn't get any uh, rushes from any linebackers to where I got the chance to work on it. But yeah, I think that's how I've grown is just working or choosing a goal to work on during practice. You got like 30 carries sometimes last year. Is that okay or would you like to reduce that? No, nah, I'm, I'm all right with it. I'll never complain about that. <laughs> the uh, rush defense was pretty stingy today. Do you like what you see out of those guys? Oh, the defense? Yeah. Oh, for sure. It's always good to see the defense balling, but um, not always, you know. <laughs> so, you know, we'll, we'll go back in the lab and work on some stuff and, and come out here on Wednesday and fix it.
<laughs> what did you think of uh, Jet and DTC the other day and what they were able to do on Saturday? Uh, I love to see them ball. Um, the younger cats, you know, they we're growing as a room. Like they do everything that me and and Jay Will and Callaway do. Like the older guys, so it's good to have them come along with us and and grow as players and people. With Coach Flesh being the OC now, do you expect there to be even more emphasis on the running game than there were last year? Uh, oh yeah, for sure. We got hats last year made that said RTDB, uh, stands for Run the Damn Ball. So <laughs> you'll definitely see some more running this year, for sure. That's good. Thanks, Jeff. All right, thank you, thank you guys.